I work at MTM and I'm on the Tomcar project as a manufacturing engineer and uh, look after the shop floor. My role here is I look after the manufacturing side, so I look after how parts come to the line, how they're then transferred from the line put onto the car in various stages, uh, whether it's a sub-assembly, it gets brought in as a sub-assembly with a kit and brought to the car, and then basically how it goes from being a, a bare chassis, components of a chassis, to pushing out the door with the, with the shop floor team here. Yeah. So cars manufactured from a tubular chassis. We build the chassis up on site here. We've got two full-time fabricators that do that. I've dedicated Tom car jig and basically that chassis is built up component level components all the way up, fully structural welded. We basically come across from two different jigs, then go from a, onto a bonding jig and then fully rotisseried out and then we have several QA inspections through that frame. So basically what it means is the whole chassis from front to rear is welded in one complete unit make it a very safe, basically inside a complete structure that's welded. Well, the car has got a you do low centre of gravity, and so you can drive along about 45 degree embankment across it, and then having that full structural chassis around you, including the full roll cage, means that it's, it's very safe. If it does roll, you're inside a sealed capsule, and more or less that, with its low centre of gravity, it, its, its ability to not want to roll over is quite, quite amazing. And full point of safety harness as well, so absolutely safe vehicle. Uh, it's like nothing you've driven. Basically, you've got about 38 centimetres, 380 millimetres of ground clearance on the vehicle, on TM2. So it's, when you first drive it, you, you look at terrain and you think, I don't think I can get over that. But once you go over it and realise it hasn't even hit the floor pan, yeah, that's when you start to realise the capacity of the vehicle. With the design of the engine, it's basically over your rear axles. I mean, what they do is the gearbox for the engine is in front of the engine. So the, the main masses are directly over your rear axle line or your rear wheel line of the vehicle. The gearbox is slightly in front of that, being slightly less weight, and then that then is transferred for a transaxle gearbox, so your diff's actually in your gearbox. That outputs out to your final drives, and then your final drive cranks like a trailing arm on a motorcycle with a dual row chain inside. So what that means is the mass of the vehicles balance over the, the centre of the rear wheels give it a fantastic traction, keeping the car light in the front, so under acceleration you're able to get over much more rugged terrain than if you, you had more mass on the front two wheels. You've got dual wishbone at the front with fantastic wheel travel, but the back is again designed off your trailing arm, final drive, and it's basically the way it hangs behind a car, much the same way as a, a, as a swinging arm on a motorcycle. What that means is when you apply torque or horsepower to the, to the wheels, it actually wants to lift the car up as it's pushing the final drives under the car. And then you get amazing wheel travel. So as it hits bumps, that final drive wants to move up out of the way of the terrain, giving them an amazing ride.